Japanese style garlic fried rice. This one is buttery and very special because I have a little secret ingredient that you would never guess. This is my Japanese garlic fried rice. So this is unlike any other fried rice that I've done on my channel and I do a lot of fried rice as you guys know but typically mainly Thai style and Chinese style fried rice. This is a Japanese style and I have a very odd but very well pretty much like game changing ingredient here that I'm going to be using a little bit later on. We'll get to that part in a minute. First up though, so important here how do we cook the perfect Japanese rice? And for me, because I didn't grow up eating Japanese rice or cooking Japanese rice, I grew up eating and cooking Thai jasmine rice. You know, I've had to work on perfecting my skills at making Japanese rice. So I'm gonna share all those little tips and tricks with you guys so you don't have to go through the pain that I did of all the bad Japanese rice that I cooked. All right, so let's start off with the pre-preparation to the rice. Now, I've had this Japanese short grain rice soaking in some water for about 30 minutes. Oh, before I did that, I washed the rice. So I washed the rice under the tap, then I poured some extra water on top and I've had it soaking. That's really important. I skipped that step once and it did not go well. The rice grains were totally unevenly cooked and everything just didn't work out. Soak the rice. Now, you wanna drain the rice. Now you want to keep shaking and just kind of agitating that sieve until you stop getting any drips of water down the bottom. This just means that you've got control over the amount of water that you're adding to the rice in the pot. So you'd be surprised at how much water comes out from this little jigging about. Now transfer that rice into a pot. Now we want to add some water and how much water do we add? Well this is where it gets a little bit confusing I think. So rice itself only needs an equal amount of water to cook. But of course, rice isn't cooking in a vacuum and some of that water is evaporating off. So you only need just a little bit extra. So this is like two cups of rice, two cups of water and just a quarter cup of water extra. So if you're going to be doubling the quantity of rice, you still only need four cups of rice, four cups of water and a quarter cup. You don't double that extra quarter cup. It doesn't matter how much rice you're doing, just an extra quarter cup is all you need. Trust me. <laughs> all right, so add in the water. Turn the heat on, put the lid on. Tight fitting lid is essential here. And then once you can hear the pot bubbling, that's when you want to start your timer. So just wait a few minutes here. So I can hear that my pot has started bubbling away in there. So I really don't want to open the lid off and let all the heat out. So I'm just going to have a quick look just to show you guys. Okay, yep, it's boiling. Now I'm going to turn the heat down. So about a medium low heat because I don't want the rice on the bottom to burn. Now start your timer, 10 minutes. So at this point, our rice should be cooked and dry. Let's have a look. Again, I don't want to lift the lid up. And if you're at home, what I would suggest is not lifting it, but I'm just going to show you guys really quickly water I can't see any water so that's good what I'm going to do is actually take this off the heat now but leave the lid on and I want to leave that for another 10 minutes because the steam that's trapped inside there is going to continue kind of evenly and gently cooking the rice all the way through that's right my friends a little bit of patience is needed okay so now we should be looking at some seriously perfectly cooked rice fingers crossed now look at that looks beautifully dry and then I've got a little large wooden spoon here that I'm going to use to fluff this up. Beautifully fluffy, not soggy at all. Just right, let me just try. Mm. Just really nice tender grains, not mushy, great. Okay, now I've made too much rice here, which is generally what I do. I, I do that even with my Thai rice because I like to have two days or three days worth of rice in my fridge always. It's an Asian thing, I think. Um, okay, so I just want about three cupfuls of rice here. Now, while the rice is still warm, this is when I'm gonna add my little secret ingredient. So while I was looking online for the perfect Japanese fried rice, I always like to do some research before I get in front of the camera for you guys. Um, and I came across a blog called Chopstick Chronicles and she had the most amazing addition, which I just think is genius, and that is 
add some mayonnaise. So I've got some QP mayonnaise, which is Japanese mayonnaise, and I love this stuff. So I was like, yes, need to try this out. And I did, and it was fabulous. So that's why we're doing it today. So add your mayonnaise into the rice. You don't even notice the mayonnaise flavor at the end. It just kind of adds an extra like savory, slightly tangy, slightly sweet kind of flavor. It's really good. And now just mix that through the warm rice. To me, it's got to be that Japanese style kewpie mayonnaise because you don't want a really sweet, you know, kind of mayonnaise in here. Unless you like a sweet fried rice, but it's not for me. Now you can see just how fluffy and lovely that rice is when I'm mixing that mayonnaise through. Mm, perfect. All right, so now we are beautifully prepared uh, and actually the preparation takes a lot longer than the actual cooking time. Okay, so before we get into the pan, we're gonna just crack our eggs. And now I think I did mention at the beginning of this video that this is a really buttery, garlicky kind of fried rice. So of course we need some butter. Just as that butter is foaming, I'm gonna add in my garlic. Mm, I love that smell. The smell of buttery garlic really is one of those joyful things. Now, I don't want the heat up too high here, guys. I really just want that garlic to soften. I don't want the butter to color too much. Just when we get a nice, gentle, foaming sizzle, I'm gonna add in my rice. Quick toss around. Now I'm going to add in my soy sauce. Now keep mixing that through until you've got an even coloured palette of rice grains. Now push everything to the side and let's do our eggs. Now I'm using a non-stick pan here so I don't have to add any extra butter or oil but you might need to if you're not using a non-stick. I just like to move the egg around a little bit and then spread it out and then kind of roughly sort of scrape and flip it over. Now just break that egg up and toss it through. a little bit of greenery and some flavour. I'm going to add in some parsley. And now let me check for some seasoning here. Mmm. Mmm buttery, garlicky rice. Ah, oh, that is so good. And that little tiny touch of mayonnaise, mmm, it just gives it an extra something. Oh, I love it. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit of salt though, because even though we added the soy sauce, we didn't add very much, and I don't wanna kind of darken the color anymore, but I do want a little bit more seasoning. Now that is looking great. Now this makes the perfect friends with things like teriyaki chicken, teriyaki salmon, grilled prawns, just about anything really. And look at how beautifully separate and fluffy those rice grains are. Oh, wow, amazing. bowl of fried rice I mean you know I mean it's not Thai fried rice which I grew up eating but wow mmm mmm it's just something about a beautiful steaming bowl of fried rice it gets me every time mmm and there's butter butter makes everything better and mayonnaise You've got to try the mayonnaise thing, guys. It's so good. It's almost like the mayonnaise coats each of the grains in just a slight amount of flavor. Kind of helps keep them all separate too. Mm. 
Thank you, Chopstick Chronicles. Such a great little tip. Mmm, yum. If you've got any comments or questions, pop them below. And if you enjoyed the video, why not hit that subscribe button plus the little bell one, and that way you'll get notified every time I release a new video. Thanks, guys. Mm -hmm.